Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Anirudh and in today's video, we'll be getting back to one of the topics related to the current situation, that is the COVID-19 pandemic. Today's video is about herd immunity and some myths related to COVID-19. So let's get right into the video. Herd immunity. In this video, first of all, we'll be learning what is herd immunity. Then we will discuss as to how a population acquires herd immunity and when does herd immunity really become effective. Herd immunity is a form of indirect protection from infectious disease that can occur with some diseases when a sufficient percentage of a population has become immune to an infection. How do you acquire herd immunity? There are two ways a population can acquire immunity against an infection by a virus, bacteria or any pathogen. The first way, it occurs naturally when a person contracts the disease and recovers from it. After recovery, the person's immune system has the antibodies to fight the infection easier next time. This person is said to be immune. The second way is artificially through vaccination. When a person is vaccinated against a disease, he or she develops the immunity against the pathogen without being infected by the original one. Hence, vaccinations are safer than acquiring herd immunity through contracting the actual disease. When does herd immunity become effective? The percentage of population needed to be immune to develop herd immunity varies on how infectious the disease is. For many less infectious diseases, the herd immunity threshold required is only 40% of the population. But most infectious diseases require a herd immunity threshold of 60% to 90%. For example, measles, a highly infectious viral disease, requires 95% of the population to be immune to prevent an outbreak or epidemic of measles. COVID-19. According to our current estimates, COVID-19 has a herd immunity threshold of 70% of the population. What should be done? Hence, we must vaccinate more and more people to meet this threshold and end this pandemic. Our goal here seems pretty simple. Vaccinate more and more people so that we meet the herd immunity threshold to end this pandemic. But we must note that most of the current COVID-19 vaccines are for people above 18 years. But teenagers and children make up a significant percentage of our population. Also, there are many people with underlying conditions which make them too weak to even take a vaccine. Hence, to protect this vulnerable group and people below 18 years, more and more eligible percentage of the population must take the vaccine. Currently, around 31.4 crore people are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. This might seem like a huge number, but this comprises of only 4% of the total world's population. Remember, at least 70% of the population needs to be fully vaccinated to acquire the herd immunity threshold and end this pandemic. Let's also discuss about some myths and facts about COVID-19. Can a COVID-19 vaccine make me sick with COVID-19? No, none of the authorized and recommended COVID-19 vaccines or vaccines currently in development contain the live virus that causes COVID-19. This means that a COVID-19 vaccine cannot make you sick with COVID-19. Will a COVID-19 vaccine alter my DNA? No, COVID-19 vaccines do not change or interact with your DNA in any way. There are currently two types of COVID-19 vaccines that have been authorized for use, messenger RNA, mRNA vaccines, and viral vector vaccines. None of these vaccines even go near your DNA. Will a vaccination protect me from getting sick with COVID-19? Yes, COVID-19 vaccination is like teaching your immune system how to recognize the virus that causes COVID-19 and how to fight it. As a consequence, this protects you from getting sick with COVID-19. If I have already had COVID-19, do I still need to get vaccinated? Yes, it is recommended that you should be vaccinated regardless of whether you already had COVID-19. Since it is not yet known how long you are protected from getting sick again after recovering from COVID-19, you should get vaccinated. Conclusion Herd immunity develops when a significant portion of the population is immune to a disease. It is acquired either by an actual infection by the pathogen or through an administered vaccine. For COVID-19, at least 70% of the population must have immunity and the safest way of making this happen is getting this happen is getting vaccinated. Let's end this video with a fact. The closer we get to herd immunity by closing gaps in vaccine coverage and overcoming vaccine hesitancy, the safer, healthier and more open our society will be. 
Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Please like it, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Also share this video so more and more people are aware of such crucial and important terms.